Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usedreamweaver.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand how to insert anchor links and how to link to anchor links using Adobe Dreamweaver. I'm running version CS3. If you don't already have a page open, go to File, New to create a new page or go to File, Open to open an existing page from your hard drive. In this case, we will um, create a new page by going to File, New, and this window will come up asking us what kind of a page we want. We want a blank page, HTML page type, and select None for the layout. Go down here and click Create, and Dreamweaver will create a website for us, or a web, a web page for us, which we can view three different ways, either in the design view, which you're looking at right now, which is the what you see is what you get editor in Dreamweaver. You can view the split view, which is split code and split design, or you can view just the code view. In this case, we're going to view the split view so we can see what's going on with the code and we can also see the design view. To insert a um, anchor link it's quite easy. Simply click on the design view and let's um, set up a bit of a website first. We will set up, um, say this is the header up here, and we will space down by pressing enter and this will be the middle and we'll go down a bit more by pressing enter a few more times and this will be the footer. So we have three different sections of this website now. We have the header up here, we have the middle, and we have the footer. And the way that I'm scrolling through this uh, page is by using the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard. Now to insert the anchor link, go to insert, make sure you are beside where you want the anchor link to be inserted of course. Go to insert, named anchor, or on your keyboard hold down control, alt, and the letter A. I'll click on named anchor and this window will come up asking me what I want to name it. And I will call this the header. And I'll spell it right even. There you go. And I'll press OK. And you'll see that uh, Dreamweaver has inserted a anchor for us and it shows us a little logo of an anchor. We can see up here in the code the anchor, the name of it is Heather, and the ID is Heather. And once again there's the text beside it which is right there. And we can go down and do this for the middle. I'll Go down to here, once again go to insert, named anchor, or hold control, alt, and the letter A on your keyboard. And this one I'll call middle, and I'll press OK once again, and I'll scroll down one more time and click beside the footer, and this time I'll use the keyboard shortcut, which is by holding control, alt, and pressing the letter A on your keyboard, and this one I will call footer and press OK. So now we have three anchors in our page at the header, middle, middle and footer. To link to these, uh, we'll do this at the top of the page. Let's uh, move this down a bit by clicking before that and pressing enter, whoops, pressing enter a few times to create some space in there. And let's make links to these anchors. We can do this by uh, naming our links first of all. We have header, we'll space, or enter rather, or hit the return key if you're using a Mac. Middle, enter, and footer. To make these links to these anchors, simply highlight them, click, and drag over them to highlight them. You can also do this in the code view. 
and you need a properties window which if you don't have the bot at the bottom of your screen go to window properties or hold control and press F3 on your keyboard in the properties window you will see that we can add a link to what we have highlighted so let's add a link and how you add a link to anchors is simply by using the number sign which is right there in front of the name of the anchor so for the first one this is the link to our header anchor which is down here so we imp insert the number sign or the pound sign and type in the name of our anchor which is Heather and we'll click on our screen and you'll see that this has become a hyperlink and now when someone clicks on this as we can see in the code here it will take them to the number sign which of course means the anchor and Heather so it will take them one click down here and let's test this by clicking on this globe item here and clicking preview in Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox or whatever you're using and of course you'll need to save this so it can preview it so let's uh, just create this in there great and it will preview it for us there we go and then just a second there we go great and if this pops up you should always allow blocked content so we can uh, use the JavaScript and everything else in the website to see the full functioning website now we can see that th this is indeed a link here and if we click on it it will take us down to the header now unfortunately there's not a lot of score a scrolling room in this page so you can't really tell that it takes it down that much to the header but if we go back to Dreamweaver let's insert even more space by pressing enter between our objects and I'll save this again by going to file save or holding control and pressing the letter S on my keyboard when I go back to my browser here I can refresh by going to refresh up here or pressing F5 on my keyboard and now you will see that the titles or the different sections of our websites are spaced out a bit more and when I click on header it will take me down right to the top of the header section and we can do this with the rest of the titles that we've created for the middle link here we will highlight this once again and in our properties window we will go to link insert the pound sign or the number sign and type the name of our anchor middle it will create a hyperlink for that and we can do this for the footer as well by highlighting that going to link in the properties window inserting the number sign or the pound sign and typing in the name of the anchor footer and we will create a link for that now when we save it by holding down control s we're going to file save and previewing in our browser once again we will refresh our browser by hitting F5 or going to the refresh key and you will see that all of those are now links now when I click on the header it will take me down to the top of the header section or the header anchor when I click middle it will take me to the middle anchor and when I click footer it will take me down to the footer anchor so there's a quick tutorial of the basics of how to insert anchor links and how to link to anchor links using Adobe Dreamweaver. Here's a quick tip. If you want to link to an anchor link that's on another page of your website or on another website, on your link, highlight it once again and down at the link you simply insert the name of the website, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and insert the name of your website forward slash the name of the page 
and .html or .php or whatever the extension to is is to that website or that page and then simply put the pound sign or the number sign and the name of the anchor right after that. Do not put in a slash or anything else in between it. Link it directly to the page. In this case, if it was in the index, in fact, I could link it right to the main page. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to insert anchor links. I'm Sam from usedreamweaver.com.